As mentioned above, Order 8110.107 provides the FAA process for monitoring safety and analyzing data, which was designed to promote an improved continued operational safety COS methodology by incorporating a data-driven risk-based approach for safety assurance and safety risk management. It's intended to support aviation products throughout their life cycle. Though our evaluation teams don't have the same names, we're still effectively working on a similar manner, using data to determine the safety risk associated with an in-service issue. The order explains that each FAA standards office has their own method for determining the risk associated with an issue, where the varying analysis methods are product-specific, resulting in units convertible to fatal accidents, and calculate the quantitative probability, severity, and risk value for each important outcome. Because most of our projects are on Part 25 aircraft, we should use the Transport Airplane Directorate Risk Assessment Methodology, known as TARAM. The TARAM method calculates risk values for 1. Total uncorrected fleet risk, 2 uncorrected individual risk per flight or per flight hour, and three, time until control program risk guideline is reached. There is a worksheet that helps work through calculations of probability based on the frequency an issue occurs, the number of aircraft in a fleet, and how often the aircraft are utilized. This information is used to determine uncorrected fleet risk, the risk if nothing is done, individual risk, and risk within 90 days so that it can be determined if an emergency AD is necessary. There are examples provided by the FAA Technical Center that can also help understand the statistical methods needed for good assessment. We should be using this guidance and tools to determine corrective action plans. Risk has been assessed using a heat map in the past. This is a non-quantitative tool that has no connection to actual data. It provides someone a methodology to make a judgment call without any concrete information, which can lead to decisions being made that are unconservative and too conservative. ICAO has made a mandate that companies involved in aviation implement a safety management system, SMS, including aircraft and aircraft equipment manufacturers. To meet the latest ICAO Annex 19 requirements, the FAA has a rulemaking initiative underway to require aircraft and aircraft equipment manufacturer, design and manufacturer approval holder, SMS. TARAM meets SMS requirements. Heat maps don't, because of the emphasis on using data to make safety decisions. We need to move toward use of this risk assessment method as well. A risk assessment methodology goes beyond reviewing in-service issues once they are discovered. The same methods can be used to assess other discrepancies, such as audit findings or operational failures. In fact, I heard one company explain that they use the same approach when looking at whether a part should or should not be listed on an MMEL and provide justification for removal or use for ICA relief. Using a data-driven methodology with regard to risk helps justify decision-making and will be a regulatory requirement placed on all design approval holders in the future.